21 and over. Before I saw this, I saw the trailer for The Hangover 3. And you go, oh, right. And then this, which was billed as from the writers of The Hangover, and it's presumably all the bits which they didn't manage to get into the, the other movies. So essentially, the story is two guys who are no longer friends reunite with a third guy who's no longer a friend either, really, called Jeff Chang, who's about to turn 21. His dad wants him to go to bed early. <laughs> They've got different plans. Here's a clip. Jeff Chang, you need to sit down. No. Come on. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Just take a seat, please. Jeff Chang, this isn't just any birthday, okay? This is your 21st birthday. Here we go. This is the day that you become a man. In the United States of America, bald eagles and Budweiser, you go out and drink. If we're in Africa, you would have to leave the village and not come back till you killed a bear. None of that is true. There's no bears in Africa? No. Really? You have to read a book. Whatever, I'm taking you out whether you want to or not. Ah! I you this thing is just stop. stop! That's what I'm saying. But just one beer. One beer. That's yeah. all I wanted. We'll take care of you. That's it, man. That's Nothing's it. gonna happen to you. You're my little baby tonight. So basically, if you, you love it, don't you? I can tell, you can tell already just by the from pause. the intake of breath. Exactly. If you've seen the trailer, right? You've seen the film. You've seen the whole thing. So you know he, he drinks shots from you know out of a fat guy's stomach. He throws up on a bucking bronco. He gets thrown out of a window. He gets a teddy bear attached to himself in an awkward position. He winds up getting down on the car on a car roof at the instruction of policemen. That's a scene, incidentally, which comes from the very last quarter of the film. So every single good joke is in the trailer, and in the trailer, I counted no good jokes at all. This is a film which kind of aspires to the level of humour of The Hangover. This is this, this is which it, it can't even dream of the comedic sophistication of Animal House, and so it's taking a pot shot at Revenge of the Nerds three. It's a kind of film which makes you wonder why the dude where's my car sequel seriously dude where's my car didn't make it screaming onto our screens as it should have done. It is an absolute headache of a film and. The thing with the, I mean, I don't like the Hangover movies anyway. I've always found them kind of just unbelievably crass and nothing like as funny as they think they are. But what's happened with the Hangover movies, they've just cranked everything up as it as the series going you know, just bigger, louder, noisier, shoutier, ruder. In the case of this, it's kind of like that but sort of light. It's like having the Hangover but without having the nice, fun, jolly party bit beforehand. Very early on in the film, somebody says, it's 11.30, we have to go home. And you think, oh, but, uh, wow, we're nearer the end than I thought. But then, of course, you've got the, the whole of the film goes. And, of course, what it's meant to be is it's kind of it's increasingly crazy. They've got, to find, they've got to find out where Jeff Chang lives. They've got to get him home, and he's naked, but he's dressed up as a woman, but he's got this teddy bear. And how are they going to find the stuff? They've got to go to this place, but then in order to get through this house, they've got to do all this stuff and drink all these things and play these games. And then they've got to throw him out of a window and then all this. And... It, what it's meant to do is have this kind of uh, th this cumulative effect that it, you know each thing becomes funnier and funnier. But in fact, it becomes exactly like Martin Scorsese's After Hours, not in a good way. I'm not incidentally. Please don't put that on the poster. Twenty one and over. It's like Martin Scorsese's After Hours, says Mark Kermode Radio. In as much as it's just it's a never ending horror. It's that whole, dis the night appears to go on forever. In the sort of thudding, things just get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And the point is they're meant to get funnier and crazier and zanier and wackier. And you're meant to spend time with these guys and, and end up rooting for them. I just wanted the police to arrest all of them and put them in a cell and hose them down and let them dry out until the morning. And that's the end of that. And I know that obviously I'm not the target audience for this, but believe me, there are there is such thing you know as a good stupid frat boy comedy and this ain't it worse in its very very best moments it reminds you of movies you didn't like very much the first time but wish you were watching instead adam cousins on an email says i've just heard that clip for 21 and over before the clip had finished i could tell it was awful yeah exactly we came out the which is which is problematic because the clips are supposed to be fine the thing and that's enticing, so saying come in come in we came out of the movie and um we'd been in previous screening and a fellow critic we, by the, way? The, the, the the press the national the press fraternity the, yes the assembled you know good, good and great of the national press and me and i came out and a friend of mine i can't remember who it was but one of them said to me did you think that was racist and i thought it well you know i hadn't a, it, it was all so diabolically horrible that even beginning to worry about the politics of it seemed to me to be an, a, a foolhardy pursuit.